A good science class firstly begins with the teacher, so somebody that's prepared, enthusiastic and engaged and willing to learn with the students. I teach science at Townsville State High School in North Queensland. We have the ocean, we have the reef, we have the rainforest, so a lot of science is right at the door. It means that we're able to capture students in their everyday environment and put the science there so they can understand the world that they live in. Townsville State High School is a wonderful place to work. The atmosphere is always supportive. I have a great science staff that are innovative and always creative and challenge each other. We collaborate and we're very passionate about science. I like doing um, experiments with things that students don't expect. For example, exploring exothermic endothermic reactions with chewing chewing gum or exploring um, the elasticity of lolly snakes. We have a V8 supercar race which occurs just at the front of the school and my year 11 students examine the health of our local estuary which is just down the road before and after the V8 race in order to establish if there are any impacts with the V8s. My students, I guess, become big kids and I do too and it's a load of fun plus a lot of science. What really excites me is science, so me learning science every day in order to help students learn science every day. A Year 9 student a number of years ago doing a dissection, she looked at me and said, Miss, I'm going to become a doctor, I've just decided. And now she's doing first year medicine. That's why I keep doing it, because it changes people's lives, not just the students, but our community globally, so it's exciting. Students are choosing science as a lifelong passion. We have around 90% of our students that choose to do tertiary studies choosing a science-based study. That means an awful lot, especially when a lot of them go on to achieving great things and, and they end up inspiring you. I think science is more and more important than ever. If we aren't able to reach people now and engage people now in science, we don't have the problem solvers for the future. So the students sitting in my classroom need to be inspired in science because they are our scientists of tomorrow. And if we don't engage them, we aren't engaging our future. <laughs>